finding customers. This is really important. And I see many of you guys posting, um, you know, comments on our uh, closed Facebook group. By the way, if you didn't join our um, Facebook group, you can type the uh, truck dispatcher training and then first you know, search pops up. It's the uh, our group, so you can um, join. That is a closed Facebook Facebook group, but we have more than two thousand um, members right now, and it's growing fast. And we have a lot of value covering important questions there. So please join. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and you know like this video. So if you have any questions as far as this video or any questions related to becoming an independent truck dispatcher, please leave a comment below and let's jump in. Now, this video is specifically designed for independent truck dispatchers looking for carriers again. And of course, independent truck dispatchers not only looking for you know carriers, they also looking for uh, shippers or brokers. Now, when I say finding customers, this video also can you know benefit the uh, carriers because carriers are looking for uh, brokers and carriers are looking for a uh, uh, shippers. So I'll be using DAT Power specifically because I do all of my trainings based on this uh, DAT Power. As you can see, it's the uh, username is a train power zero one. Let's log in. So I'll be talking about there is a tool not many independent truck dispatchers or shippers know about this tool that I'm about to show you. It's really obvious, but not many people know in if they know, they don't know how to use it, okay? So hit it how it goes. When you log in, and again, I'm talking about specifically DAT Power, which is about $150 subscription per month, but I think they have also this tool that I'm about to show you. I think they have in the Trucker's Edge Pro. I will check with them, and, and I think they have this tool available in Trucker's Edge Pro also. So the tool that I'm show you is when you hover over the, uh, as you can see, the uh, tool, tools. So you, when you click on the tools, you will have this important links that you can go, like, you know, lane makers, basically, you know, as it sounds like you will be building lanes, right? So we're not going about like trend lines, you know, market conditions and quick rate search, for example, even though these links are really, really important. And I made this bold statement saying that not many, you know, carriers or independent truck dispatchers know this tool that I'm about to show you, right? And why is that? It's because Many people, including myself, we are busy just searching loads, making calls, booking calls, you know, and we're really busy. We're not paying attention that there are, you know, important tools available in this load board. It's load, but it's not only just searching loads, right? Yes, it's part of the load board, but it offers you a lot more. This is one of them. When you go to DAT directory specifically. Now, in this scenario, we'll be playing that you are assuming that you are an independent truck dispatcher and you are looking for a carrier, right? So let's go to, and again, when you log in, right? So you will see searching, posting um, trucks, and then uh, the uh, searching trucks, and then posting loads and etc. But we are going over top right corner, you will have this tools when you click on tools you will go to dat directory when you click on dat directory it brings into this page now i wanted to write a review for example you want to write a review for a broker you want to write a review for a carrier for example right read reviews about carriers about brokers right but what we will do is search new business partners again I'm an independent truck dispatcher looking for a carrier using this load board, which is DAT Power, okay? When I click on search new business partners, this is what I have. Now, basically, what it, so what, what we are trying to do, do is that DAT, as a, like, it's a huge company and it has a huge database of carriers, brokers, shippers, all together. Right. 
what we are doing is that we're you know basically telling DAT you know solutions that you know in the company name is DAT solutions, but DAT Power is the name of the load board. It's one of you know their products. Okay, now you're telling this load board saying that okay, you guys have you know like carriers on board. Okay, so I'm an independent truck dispatcher, so I'm looking for this company located in this city, for example. Now. I'm just skipping the company name. If you know the company name, you can search by name, but company type here with, you know, magic happens. If you are a carrier, you're looking for a brokers, you can do this, right? If you are a, um, you know, again, carrier, you're looking for a shipper, you can do this. If you're a broker, you're looking for a shipper, you can do this, right? So we are a independent dispatcher. So we are looking for, you know, I would say both brokers and carriers. Why is that? Because dispatchers are willing to work, you know, with brokers, right? And then they also want, you know, their um, customers as a carriers. Now, we'll click on broker slash carrier and then city. For example, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. So I will do Atlanta, Georgia. Let's find a city and then let's put a state Georgia and then find a city. Atlanta, Georgia, right? And then use the city. Now, Redis basically means that, okay, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm willing to, you know, work with the companies within 50 mile Redis around Atlanta, Georgia, or 100 miles or 150 miles and then 200 miles. So due to the digital nature of this business, which is independent truck dispatcher, I don't care as far as mile goes, I'll just put 200 miles. When, it, when I click 200 miles, and then again, you're not, you know, just live as it is, as a, as a company name, just do the search. And here's the magic happens, right? So this load board will bring all those matches to you, like you searching for a, you know, brokers and then carriers and etc. Here it is, right? Now, 500 matches returned. Think about this. 500 brokers and carriers right in front of you, right? So we'll be, you know, going in detail right now. Just, just bear with me. What about if you did a search on Alabama? Let's do, let's, if maybe you did in search in Florida, maybe in any city, any state in the U.S. Think how many carriers and brokers you will have to contact right think about if you're located in north carolina what if you did like you know 150 mile radius or 250 mile radius in charlotte north carolina see you're not limited and again because of the digital nature of this business you can be anywhere around the world it doesn't matter you you don't have to be in a, you know in in the us you can be anywhere right so this load board is available everybody i had a one-on-one -on -one training you know with one of one of my students he's in canada and then he says kamal can i access you know load board you know, absolutely right this is load board is a it's a marketplace like amazon think about think about that way it's a marketplace for a freight right so if you have your independent truck dispatcher business you can access as long you, know, you can access this load board as long as you pay for it, that's all into it. And this load board, it's a high end product, you know, which, you know, DAT Power has. It's really amazing, you know, um, and it's about $150. Okay. Now let's dive into it. Let me do the uh, quick, you know, searching. Like, let's go over the details. American Transport Incorporated. Let's click on this. And this is what pops up, right? Their company name and their legal name. The company name is basically the legal name, meaning they registered their name as American, you know, Transport Inc. But they're doing business as a company, um, American Transport Inc. Right? They they're capitalized, but they this is how they do. You know, I think in many countries they have doing like a DBA, meaning meaning doing business as. So. For example, my company name is Prime Express. Maybe a legal name could be like Prime Express, but you know, I can do company name doing business. If I if I want to do the you know business as 
dispatch trucks, for example, I can do that, right? So a legal name and a company name, that's, that's the difference, for example. Okay, now they have their address, right? The address is available and now the company type is really important, right? What it says, it's an agent, it's a broker. Right. You can call this broker and say, hey, you know, um, you guys located in Alabama, you know, I located in wherever and, you know, I'm an independent truck dispatcher. I'm willing to work with you, for example. Right. This is, you know, where you get, you know, um, started. Now, this all the information you have, you know, you can, you, you know, make a phone call and then you can do like more um, detail um, searching, you can find, you know, their emails, you can do the email marketing, email marketing, basically meaning like sending, you know, series of emails, you like introducing your company and then get your foot in the door, right? That's, that's what it is. So let's click on, I'm, I'm clicking randomly, right? On, on this, um, uh, companies. And again, this is an agent. Um, let's go to ATL logistics. For example, the, again, Legal name is ATL Transport Incorporated, and the company name is ATL Logistics Management Inc. ATL Transport Inc. This is you know how they do the business. They are located in Alpharetta, Georgia. This is their phone number, and then this is a truckload. The company type is a truckload, a national plus broker, meaning they are also uh, they are broker. They are also a carrier, right? This is how it is, right? So. You know, you can read about them, how long they've been in business, they about their bond, they're, they're about their insurance and etc. This is is like game changer for most of you, right? So what if you do a what if you are a carrier and you're looking for a shipper? Let's go back. Let's go back and then let's do the uh, Atlanta, Georgia and then 200 mile radius and let's put a shipper. Maybe, you, maybe you're a carrier looking for a shipper, direct shipper. You want to work directly with the shipper or you are an independent truck dispatcher. You are represent a carrier, right? And you are uh, contacting with shipper. You are representing a carrier. You're contacting a shipper behalf of carrier. You can't just go and then contact with shipper and saying that I really want to connect with this kid and etc. You can't do this. It's illegal. You are not a broker. The only way it works if you are in, in contract with a carrier, then behalf of um, that carrier company name, you can go and talk to a shipper. I'll, I'll give you an example. So my company name is Prime Express LLC, for example, right? So you are an independent truck dispatcher and we, you know, have this contract in place. Now you will, I'll be giving you the names of the shippers that you can contact or you have list of shippers, right? And then you can show me that, hey, Kamal, I have this, you know, list of shippers I want to contact, you know, but I have to go through you, right? I have to use your company. Right. And you know, it makes sense. And you'll be contacting with the shipper saying that, you know, I'm contacting you behalf of Prime Express. You can contact whatever the name of your company. Let's say Jenny's dispatching, you know, services LLC. You can't contact directly, you know, from your company. Why is that? You know, why you can't contact? Because you're not a broker. It's illegal, right? The only way it works, you will be representing a carrier, right? You will be acting as a subcontractor or an employee of a carrier. And then you can, that way you can represent the company and then get the shipper, shipper on board. Okay. Now let's focus on getting shippers. Let's, let's do again, let's leave as it is just, you know, do the uh, shippers, uh, sh search. Let's click search and then see what, you know, what, what happens. And again, this would, this will, you know, the 99 matches is like 200 mile radius in Atlanta, Georgia. And again, we can search any state, right? In the U S nationwide, any city, any state. Okay, now let's do this cable transport company, right? This is a company type is a shipper, right? This is their office, you know, the, um, the office number. 
you can contact them you know you can do like more in detail search on the internet you can copy and then go google and do like more digging finding like you know managers finding ceo or you know the gatekeepers whatever you want to do to contact with them saying then hey i represent this company and we want to work with you we want to we want to transport your load so so this is how it works right so you will be importing this right or you can you know print these results but you know it's 99 shippers in atlanta georgia maybe you are in a different city and again as i said you can be anywhere around the world just you know get this contact information get their name and email address and then contact them right they are here to do a business right so you have a service to offer to them right and this is how it goes you'll be contact contacting with them if you have if you're good at cold calling you can do the cold calling but i prefer doing emails what i will do i'll just you know go do the uh, more searching for example i'll copy and then go google and then search you know for their email address on their website and then i will be emailing and introducing you know my company name and what we do and how we can help them right this is a simple tool but is definitely a game changer for most of you i hope you guys like this video so i'll be posting more videos as far as finding clients customers please make sure to subscribe and like this video share this video and please comment below let me know what are the questions you have and then i'll be doing more videos as far as independent truck dispatcher um, training goes okay thank you